Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Latola, and I'd like to share with you a clinical case featuring Nexus RMGI uh, resin modified glass ionomer looting cement from Kerr. It's got some really nice features that I like uh, the ability to tack cure this cement and get it to a gel state and clean it up a little bit earlier is probably my favorite feature. So you see a molar that we've prepared here and this is going to receive a solid zirconia crown. I've tried that crown uh, into the mouth and because it came in contact with saliva, I'm decontaminating it at this point. So after rinsing it out, we're placing a liquid zirconia oxide inside of the solid zirconia oxide crown. And that's going to bond to any of the salivary phosphates that were bonded to the uh, internal portion of that crown. And then we rinse those out and dry it off, as you saw there. And now we have a fresh bonding surface. So I'm going to place a drop of zirconia primer in there, wait 30 seconds. And in the reaction between the phosphates and the zirconia primer and the zirconia oxide in the crown, creates a little bit of water. And that's what we're doing with that air is blowing that out of there. I'm going to bleed the syringes of the Nexus RMGI just to make sure there's no blockage there. And uh, this is the ease and convenience of a dual barrel auto mix system. And I just squirt a little out onto my thumb to make sure we've got good patency. And then I'm going to place the cement in the crown. And being able to have that auto mix gets rid of this, the days of powder and liquid and chilled glass slabs and spatulas and mess and all kinds of stuff like that. So uh, when we put the crown into place, you have two choices. You can simply have the patient bite down uh, onto a cotton roll and walk out of the room as you have traditionally done with a crown and bridge cement, or you can light cure for a second or two. And in the beginning, as you're getting used to it, you certainly want to under cure a little opposed to over cure. But in this one, uh, we've just let it set up uh, on its own. And, um, you know, I played with it uh, as we were using it in each of its modes. It, look how, can you believe how easy that, that peels off? I mean, literally just kind of teasing it away uh, from the crown. You saw it just kind of fall off and roll off there in one piece. Now, ordinarily my assistant suction would have been there, but it would have been blocking the camera. So uh, just wanting to try to point out how easy it is, this kind of one peel uh, ability to go in there and have it come off in one piece. Uh, that really is nice instead of having to chase uh, over lots of little pieces. And again, if you want to, you can hop in right away and uh, cure the margins uh, for a second or two uh, with your regular curing light. And then you can start to clean off that gingival excess uh, within the first 10 seconds, if you wish. Or you can leave the room and have your assistant monitor the cure with an explorer to make sure that it's set. And you see how easily that comes out in approximately with just a little knot in the glide floss. And then we've got a crown uh, seated into place with the Nexus RMGI. A uh, lot of peace of mind here. It's radio opaque. It releases fluoride. It works on uh, PFM crowns, gold crowns, um, solid zirconia, as you saw in this example. Uh, you're all familiar with uh, resin-modified glass ionomers and where to use them. Uh, I think you're going to find, though, a big benefit with the optional tacking so you can clean it up early if you want to. And then with that one peel ability to just kind of take off the buckle and lingual pieces in one fell swoop, really a big convenience with Nexus RMGI.